Hey everybody, welcome to week four. Yay, we survived. Now some of you did all your writing, some of you did no writing, some of you have put your manuscript away and are like, I'm gonna pull this out in November. Don't do it. <laughs> So writing isn't a thing that you do in April, July, and November when the NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo camps come out. You, this is something, this is a lifestyle. So my goal for you is tell me in the comments down below what your goal is next. So I did not finish my manuscript and you'll find as I go through my week, you'll, I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, but I have, a handy dandy post-it with my goals written down. And then of course I have my handy dandy, like two year long goal sheet that I've got. Um, and I've got some goals that I'm going to be working on for the month of May. So my main goal is to write 10,000 words a week. Some weeks I'm gonna uh, exceed that, some weeks I'm going to <laughs> not even get there. My goal is to be done with this manuscript at the end of July, early June at the latest. That's gonna be about 10,000 words a week for from now until that point in time. I will then switch over, just let my brain rest from this story and to the other story that I had first, my middle grade story that is my heart story and I love it and I love my characters and it's awesome and it's in third person, which I like better than first person. <laughs> So um, I've got this other story that's been percolating for a couple of months and I'm gonna be working on that in the months of June and July. So I've got this whole plan in place about what I'm going to do next. If I don't meet my goal, it's okay. I'll just push everything back a month. That's totally okay. Give yourself grace. If you didn't meet your goal, fine, fabulous. What are you going to do next? Don't let the fact that you didn't meet your goal stop you from doing anything. Woohoo! That's my like inspirational piece for today. Please let me know in the comments down below where you went. How was your week? What are you going to do next? Did you suck during NaNoWriMo? How are you not going to suck in May? What are you going to change? What are you going to do? So that's my big inspirational piece right now. Please let me know. I would love to be a part of your writing process. If you want to be a part of my writing process, feel free to give me feedback on what I've been telling y'all to. If you liked this video and you want to see more kind of vloggy day in the life of a working mom, writer, creative person sort of stuff, um, let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe on your way out. Let me know how you're doing and help support me with how I'm doing. I can always use somebody raw rawing me. So if you want to raw raw, comment down below. Um, I'll be your cheerleader, be mine. On that note, have an awesome week and I will see you in May. Bye. Oh, good morning everybody and welcome to day 25. I'm sad because I don't have my watch on or my bracelet. Okay, um, I have written for the first time in a week. I have 363 words today and I am excited to be getting back to the story. I needed that rest more than anything else I could have needed and taking that rest, just being able to jump back into the story this morning, it, it was like, wow, okay, I like this story, I can do it, but I needed that rest or else I wouldn't be writing right now. I'm gonna cut this short, get right back to my writing. I still have another half an hour that I can write for and we'll see what I end up with today. Okay, I almost had a thousand words yesterday and I'm currently at 200 with about 15 more minutes to go this morning. I will be home tonight to do some writing and I'm excited about that. So I guess what I wanna say right now is sometimes passion is enough and sometimes it's not. Sometimes you're gonna need a break from that passion because you can't keep going with that same amount of passion. You have to have ebbs and valleys and flows and mountains and all of that weird stuff. So 
I guess what I'm saying is my week and a half uh, off of doing nothing during the middle of NaNoWriMo while I wanted to showcase the fact that I could win NaNoWriMo like I did in November. Really, I just want to make writing a lifelong pursuit. And so I'm enjoying playing with my story again. So if you keep going, you will get to the place that you want to get to. And I guess that can kind of sound stupid, but the reality of it is, is that these sorts of things really do sound like rah, rah, you got this. But if you want to keep going, you will keep going. Good luck with everything. If you were like me and you were like, I'm just not doing it. I hope that you get back on or you take the break that you needed on that note. But so on the topic of this week, I did today is the 28th. It's Friday. I did not write anything um, today. I did write yesterday and I didn't take a video because my students have been knock, knock, knocking on the door and I haven't been able to get to my video time. So this morning, instead of doing my writing first and then my video last, I went ahead and I did my video first and now I'm going to get started on my writing so that when my students come knocking on my door, I can open it up without feeling guilty. So that's what I'm saying. If you like baby chicks, okay, this is a random video I took at the feed store this week. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to comment about what your goals for May are. Good luck, everyone. Bye. And I'm going to try this one. And that sounds stupid. Okay. And I'm just going to babble right now. So 